Well, fiery delivery drama in Texas, where a pizza guy couldn't slice his anger over a 25% tip, which seems high to me. Hi. Hello. Come here, Max. Next. Next. Yep. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I just want to say it's a nice house for a $5 tip. You're welcome. Thank you. We had to beep that last part. Um, that homeowner, Lacey Percival, joins us now to relive the encounter. Uh, Lacey, good morning to you. Good morning. Okay, so uh, your family was actually on Fox and Friends about four months ago where you were talking about how you and your husband were in a car accident, and that's one of the reasons why you're getting a lot of food deliveries because you're, you're a little laid up and you, you, don't wanna, you don't feel like uh, standing on your, on your two feet all day long to cook. So the guy shows up with a pizza. You gave him 25%. What does he say right there? He, he, he's sassing you for not giving more than 25%? Yeah, because I have a nice home. And what did you say to him? Well, I was taken back and I kind of chuckle at first and then I just said, you're welcome sarcastically because my four-year-old daughter was standing right next to me. And that's when he started walking away and gave me, well, the big sayonara and I just shut the door. Uh, we had to bleep one word. Was that from him? Oh yeah, that wasn't me. Okay, just curious. I, I think I kind of know what it was. Um, so after that encounter with the pizza guy, 25%, what he didn't realize was apparently you actually tip people before they show up, and that's why he knew it was a $5 tip, which is 25% on a $20 pizza, but you also tip afterwards, right? I do, and I did that morning as well because I've had encounters where my food doesn't come or only part of the order comes. So I've also worked in this industry for 10 plus years before I joined the service. Right. And I tip on, well, service and experience. And I'm a very good tipper. Yeah. So uh, I understand you, your family called at DoorDash, complained, and what happened to that guy? So my husband called that evening and they gave us a, a $5 refund. And then we spoke with them over the weekend again. And after they had looked at the video that I had submitted, they sent me an email and told me that he was gonna be removed from their platform because they do not condone that type of thing and they gave us a $75 credit. Okay. What's the moral of this story, Lacey? Oh, just be kind because you don't know what anyone's going through and to be on point, it was 22% tip because it was $22, but still, it was still more than enough. And if he had stopped where you have a nice home, probably would have gotten a ten dollar tip but he didn't give me that chance oh man has has he tried to reach out and apologize or say anything or no no and i'm not sure really how that works the logistics with doordash if he's allowed to keep my number because their number is just like something generated through the app so yep. i have not spoken with him or anything since At, exit question from now on what are you going to be tipping Oh, I want to do the same as I have and do I tip before because they are working yeah. and then I go off of experience and how polite you are and I understand. Interaction. There you go. Well, Lacey, thank you very much for joining us and telling us Absolutely. your story and good luck once again to you and your husband who are still recovering from that uh, that accident four months ago. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. You bet. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.